Yeah, I'm over at the warehouse and I'm uh I work on work on one of the side hustles. We're gonna work on um story sales. So can you really make money from doing Instagram story sales? I personally think you definitely can. Clear this table first. There's some stuff that I will be putting in the story sale. That's something I listed last night. So I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'll put that in. This one was in last night. So when I say story sales, so if you've never um, used your Instagram to sell through your stories, you're missing out. It's an incredible tool to use to um, sell your items, especially directly to your followers. I kind of have been slacking on a little bit and I got to get more into it, back into it. This is pretty. So what I'm doing right now is I'm sorting some stuff that I will put into my Instagram story sales. Now this stuff over here, this is not, I don't think this is going to be for the Instagram story and I can preach it. And I, 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 I backtracked on it. I, I mean, I didn't backtrack on it, but I, I fell away from it. I fell away from it. Don't break it. We don't want to break it. Don't break it. I fell away from it. I'll be the first to, I, I, I fell away from it. I'll be the first to admit that. But here's the thing. We're reselling. It's like, once you know how to do it, you can always do it. So even though I slipped up a little bit and and lost a little bit of my my mojo, I would say, for I ain't gonna say mojo, but I stopped I stopped diversifying my my reselling. And even though I did that, you know, you can always go back to a method that worked. Years I take years off of eBay at a time. And then I come back, make some money, then I'll be done with it. And I do it again. One of the things, one thing that I've come to realize in this last, I would say two years, two to three years, is that, I think it's thinking 30. We're gonna clean that up. We'll put that in the story. I come to realize that I gotta do it all. And I had this luxury of not having to do it all. I had a luxury of not having to do it all. And I explained it to you. In the last two, in the last three years, we brought my wife on full time. So that meant that BC Modern became literally the sole means of income. It also became her job too. It was very important to get it was it was it was it was straight up important to get like to get it up and going and get that going as as good as it could possibly be going and to get her acclimated into her role and me to understand how it's gonna be working together with my wife and you know ultimately what it showed me is that I ain't got time to let up on these hustles. And it made me start thinking too. This ain't something that's like not known, but they say that, um, it's got a little damage on the little like, um, chrome peeling or is that paint? Is that paint? Is that going to come off of there? They say the average, um, millionaire has seven incomes or seven streams of income. When I start to look at like what I do with reselling, I think about that and it's like, that's what you gotta have. You gotta have more than one way to, to get rid of this stuff. You gotta have more than one way. So we working on the story sales today. That's what we all. These are fun. I think it's real easy to get like comfortable into one little hustle and, and you just keep rocking with that and that's that and you don't you don't change up and I think that's um can be good to you know for myself what I learned is 
I'm able to multitask. I can, I'm okay with having a couple fires going at once and kind of like putting a little, a little water on each one of them. And I, 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 I thrive in that kind of stuff, honestly. Um, but it's been good to also have such a laser sharp focus on building my store. Now, fast forward to right now where we at, we got to bring back some other, some other hustles though, because we got too much stuff. And there's more than, um, you know, I'm into, I'm into way more things than just what you're going to see in my store. And I think if you still are chasing like passions with the stuff that you're selling, you okay. Like explore all them passions for real. And that's the stuff that I love to sell is I love to sell stuff that I'm truly passionate about things that I actually like. Man, these glasses are dirty. Things that I actually like is like so clutch in any of this. Now, Instagram story sales, super easy. It's a great way to um, also engage with your audience. It's a great way to um, boost the algorithm because it, it creates um, a, a, a conversation between you and a follower back and forth. And it's a great way to sell stuff. It's seem much better. It's a whole lot better. Okay. It saves you from having to clog up your feed with a ton of different um, posts, you know? Keeps your feed a little bit cleaner. It's real easy. A lot of times what I do is, well, you know, this is what I do. I post the item for sale. So say for instance, if it's these Lucite grapes, I'll post it in a story. I'll put the price, put the measurements. You can put DM in there. You know, direct message for those that don't know what DM is in 2024. DM to purchase, and they'll send you a message. And look at the little leaf. Let's get the little leaf. Uh, they'll send you a message. You can collect payment with Venmo or PayPal. That's usually what I do. Some of y'all got Cash App. I don't do Cash App. Um, however else you want to do it. I mean, you can accept. You can send the invoice through Square, too. Like, that's an option, too. And then you can do shipping. You can do local pickup, however you want to do, you know, your, your options for uh, how you're going to market it to the world. And that's it. So those, you know, it's got, it's got some nice benefits to it. You know, it, it gets you, like I said, it gets you engagement for one. It gets you um, sales. It gets you interaction uh, with your, um, with your, with your customers. And it's, you know, it's, it's like your target customer, your target audience, the people that are, you know, watching your stories. And it's another way of um, putting out content. Like, we you know, you want to put out multiple pieces of content a day. Well, stories are one way to put out more content in a day. We're putting up some decent stuff today, I think. This is going to be, uh, be interesting to see what goes. Little McCoy. I don't like to put the, I don't like to sell things with chips or cracks. Little McCoy on the bottom. I just, I can't, I can't do it with the good conscience. I just can't. I don't want people to have any reason to have any, um, any reason to say like they're not, they don't want something. Like the only reason you shouldn't buy it is because you can't, you, you just don't have the money for it, right? Like if you want it and, and it's something you like, it should be in good enough shape that you won't. Um, think twice about buying it back to kind of my, my thinking on this is you gotta have, you know, you, you want to be a millionaire, right? Like I'm nowhere near a millionaire, um, in my reselling industry, but, um, I do good. I do well enough for me and my family. And that means that, uh, part of that is I got to do more than one thing to make that happen. I wouldn't mind sticking that on the site. I had an orange one and a yellow one. See, I never sell these in my shop, but I feel like if I put them on a story sale, they might sell. <laughs> I should do it. Which one has, okay, the orange one. So you got the orange, orange right there. What's over here? This is also, this one's got four. I'm gonna do the one that's got the least amount because that's the one I gotta ship. Just another way to give you guys some kind of motivation. Like I said, as a 
I think as a small business owner, you ain't got to be no millionaire. You should have more than one way to, to make money. And for myself, you know, we got a couple, we got a couple streams, dream possibilities. But you got to stay on top of them. Better lighting in here. It's the one thing I do need to focus on with this space. I should say that it's not the one thing, but it's one of those. I need better lighting in here. Especially for what I'm trying to do right now with this. It's just to make it uh make it better, you know? Because I can see all these shadows. The shadows are driving me crazy. Shadows drive me crazy. Anybody else get like I see people and they just take pictures and they be like whatever and they're okay with certain things, but like I hate to see shadows. I hate to show um I hate to show extension cords. I hate to show outlets. A lot of my pictures too is like I'm staging for my store. I should say I we 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 me and my wife are staging for the store and that means that, you know, I'm trying to portray a certain certain aesthetic. It's a very clean aesthetic. And so, you know, you don't really want to see extension cords and stuff. Got my stomach growling. I'm hungry. This is our last one. So this is, it's, it's no, not, it's fast too. Like, I mean, I can sit down and, and probably get all of these posted before I leave today, before I leave the depot. Um, it's so fast. I'm not writing no crazy description. I'm, 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 you know, showing some pictures, put some measurements, put the price, how you contact me to buy it. And it's done. It's out. It's, it's, it's sent right to my, directly to my followers. I shouldn't say sent, but you know, the, the people that tap into the, to my story, they can see it immediately. Ultimately I'm super, you know, pretty excited to, to be, um, starting the stories all over again. It's pretty cool to, to do that. Another piece of this puzzle is, uh, is, is my website is getting my website, uh, my, my shopping part of my website back up in effect. We, you know, we rebuilt the website more around the store and to explain the services and the different options and things that you're going to experience when you come to the store and to give a little backstory on our lives. But uh, you know, the, the selling part that was happening on my website, we put that to the, to the back burner, but now I'm bringing that back too. So it's right on time. Q4 is always a really good time to, uh, to, to start reselling or to ramp up things around this time of year. People have more money. People are looking to, I don't know if they have more money, but they're looking to spend money on Christmas and, and around the holidays and things of that nature. That's all I got for today. And that's all we're going to work on for today. I'll document what uh, what this stuff, what I price it at, what I'm going to sell it for. Um, I'll drop that in the description too for you guys. And then on the next one, I'll show you if we sold anything. So maybe we'll start a, a series on um, Instagram story sales. If that's something you want me to do, go ahead, drop it in the, drop it in the, uh, in the comments. And I'll start to, you know, obviously document more of this. But for today... This is what we talking about. This is the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, drop a like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We out.